Alright, I'm gonna narrate this thing. So, you've gotta come up with your own number. Uh, one number has to be high, one number has to be low. I came up with a high number, uh, 6,537 and 2 tenths. And she went with 56, 217 thousandths. You can't really see her decimal point, but again, she had 56 holes, 217 thousandths, ready to go. Alright, deal each player five cards. And then you're going to build the number in the middle. The number in the middle has to be uh, basically uh, two whole numbers and then uh, three numbers in the thousands. So 82 and 820. Oh, there's a queen that goes to the bottom. I need a number. Put that back in there. Nope. Back in there. And bam. Uh, 825 thousands. So, okay. That's our starting number. And basically, uh, what you need to do now is create the number that you wrote down. And the person, by the end of the game, who can create the number that's either closest to their number or exactly their number, she's bragging about her hand right now. Um, oh, I just used a king. I'm going to multiply that by a thousand. And that's a lot closer to my number now. Let's see what she does. She is, oh man, she's thinking. She's gonna use a queen, and she's going to divide by 100, which makes it closer to her number now. So she keeps getting these amazing face cards, which really isn't fair. Those are the powerful ones, right? So I can replace any number on that board with a number in my hand. And once I put a card down, I'm gonna replace it with one from the deck. So she just played a jack, and so she's going to, let's see, she divided by 10. Okay, ah, not going good for me. So I'm thinking about it. I play a king, ooh, multiply by a thousand. Kings are worth a thousand. I could divide by a thousand, which would be silly, or multiply by a thousand, which now that's much closer to my number, and she's going to play the queen, and she's gonna divide by a hundred. Bam, bam, two decimal places over. This is frustrating for me. So really, we're doing one of two things. We're either replacing numbers that are there, with numbers that are in our hand, just trying to get it to look more like our number. Or we're using face cards to either multiply the decimal or divide the decimal in whatever direction we want. Again, if you have a jack, you can times the number by 10 or divide the number by 10. A queen, divide or multiply by 100. And a king, divide or multiply by 1,000. So this is just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And slowly, we're reshaping this number. You always want to make sure you have five cards in your hand. Uh, if, you, if you forget to draw from the deck, you can just go ahead and draw, you know, even if it's not your turn. You always want to have five in your hand. So there's two ways to win this. If you can recreate your number exactly, like the one you wrote down, if you can recreate that exactly with the cards in the middle of the table there, like you win automatically, no matter how far into the game you are. Um, that's a little hard to do, but the game's also over when uh, the last card from that deck has been drawn. Uh, it's instantly over. And the person who's got the number closest to the number that is shown with the cards in the middle of the table, they will win the game. I've been trying really hard this whole game to make this number larger by multiplying by 10 and 100 and 1,000. But every time I do that, she's been able to shrink it back down, and this whole thing has not gone very well for me at all. Now, the second someone grabs this last card, the game's over, and you can tell from the numbers on the table, I'm not going to win. Wait for it. Wait for it. And... Aw. Good night. I've lost. Good game, I say. Her number is 56 and 217 thousandths, and the number on the table is 55 and 279 thousandths. Very close to what she had. She won. I was way off. Ah, it's okay. It was super fun to play. I hope you guys are able to play this in class or at home, and uh, enjoy. I'll look forward to seeing you guys next week. 
Hey, sorry. Two things I need to clarify real quick. Uh, to start the game, each player creates a five-digit decimal number to start the game. So one high, one low, just like I showed at the beginning, but it has to be five digits. And then lastly, uh, if you multiply the number on the table by 1,000 or divide by 100, and the number, uh, it gets longer than five digits, that's fine. Just go ahead and pull from the top of the deck uh, to extend that number in either direction that you need. And if you pull a face card, of course, just put that on the bottom of the deck and keep pulling until you get a number. So, okay, that should be it. I'm done now for real. And uh, yeah, have a good night. <laughs>